So in this simple equation, a is equal to b times c. Now perhaps we knew the value of a, we knew the value of b, but we didn't know the value of c. What we then need to do is to re rearrange this to make c the subject of that equation. And we can do that by doing the same to the left as we do to the right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by b. Now, the divide sign, you've got like a dot over another dot, and that's the same as saying a over b. Okay, so this is just another way of writing divide, and that's then equal to bc divided by b. But we know that b divided by b is just 1, so we can sort of cancel those out. We can then say that a divided by b is equal to c. So we've rearranged the equation, but we haven't quite finished making c the subject. By convention, we write the subject on the left, so we can just swap the two sides over to say that c is equal to a divided by b. And that's all there is to it. But what if a equals b, c plus d? And again, we knew the values of a, b and d, but we didn't know the value of c. Again, we can rearrange this to make c the subject. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take d off both sides. I'm going to subtract d. So we can say that a minus d is equal to b, c. Now, I could put plus d minus d, a bit like I did in that previous example, but we're basically just taking this d from here to over here. Now, the next thing we're going to do to get c on its own is divide everything by b, to say that a minus d divided by b is equal to c. OK, so now I've got the c term on its own. I've just finished rearranging it by writing the subject on the left that c is equal to a minus d divided by b. So this is a really important skill to get sorted at the start of your GCSEs, um, and that's all there is to it. It's just lots and lots of practice, making sure that whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you do to the right as well.